we teamed up with a organization called uh, Grant for the Web. Not sure if you've seen that, but Grant for the Web is an organization um, that is backed by Creative Commons, uh, Mozilla, and uh, Coil. And uh, Coil is a uh, platform where they try, and that, that's also what Grant for the Web is trying, is try to find new ways um, and just testing. You know, it's it's not like this has to be the way, but they're just testing dozens of models to say like, if there's something on the internet and you own the intellectual property, let's see if we can not just share it with the world, but if there is a way to monetize this, and that can be like a um, uh, the, the the PayPal donate button, but that can also be like a model where you pay per second or a model where you become a co-owner of the intellectual property. So, so they're testing like dozens of models just to see, does this work for this specific content? Games, music, photos, uh, books, uh, podcasts, you know, th- th- the whole lot. And, um, and they're not just doing it with words. They actually have $100 million to spend on testing this to see if this sticks. Mm -hmm. because they want to get rid of the two big business models that we have today. One of them, of course, is uh, advertisement-driven revenue. And the other one is uh, subscription-based, the paywalls, where you can't access any content unless you put your credit card in. Mm -hmm. Um, They want to offer like a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth model that actually is way more attractive for the audience and also way more attractive for people that actually own a photo or a song or or like a lyric or whatever to to play around and see if it monetizes. And we got involved with them a couple of months ago. Um, and they actually, you know, we, we had a plan to say like, one of the things that we can do is if you have a music page of an artist, why don't we put um, a little piece of code on that page and then ask for all the people that actually are already with this, with with Coil, with this, with this, uh, with this service, to go to the page and just stay on the page and listen to music, read the bio, um, uh, listen to all the curated content on there, and for every second that they actually are on that page, small amounts of of, of money will automatically travel oh, I from do remember this. from their wallet to this to this page. Baby steps, you know, because, you know, you, 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 of course, you need a big audience to pull this off if you really want to make money. But just the idea to get money per second is, is a really fun mechanism. Just what can I offer to you? What can I offer to Tom so that Tom stays for an additional minute on my web page mm-hmm. and, and small amounts without, without me, you know, uh, putting in my credit card details or whatever, automatically transfers small amounts of money to, to, uh, to the website. You actually described that to me better than, because I remember the coil thing and I was trying to remember what it was. And then um, I had looked into it and I was a little confused at first because it kind of sounded like another donation platform at first. I guess I didn't understand. You actually explained it in a way where I was like, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. It re- at first, what it reminded me of was Flatter. Um, I don't know if you remember that uh, service. No, 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 abs- absolutely. So, abs- so this, this, uh, in in some cases, it, uh, in in some ways, it actually goes beyond Flatter. But the cool thing, uh, also for Flatter and also for Coil, is that, uh, and this is what I really believe in, uh, because I'm 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 an advocate for open, like like in in general, open content, open governments, open everything. And uh, what I really believe in is that if. Um, an end user, like somebody who uses the internet during the day to listen to music, to read articles from great journalists, mm-hmm. to download a photo because they want to use it in a PowerPoint presentation, to you know do all these things on the internet during your normal day. Um, if if they had like uh, uh, um, some amount to spend on a monthly basis, and I, let's let's say it's five bucks, that you want to spend five bucks, but you say like. Um, I'm willing to spend that money without any hassle over the platforms that I use my my daily search for music and 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 stock photography and reading articles and donating donate buttons or whatever. Mm-hmm. But without me filling out details, just you know, exactly automatically, it just it just the money moves. And every month I spend five bucks and it's gone. And I know that people who actually have that content are getting remunerated for offering that content to me. 
Mm-hmm. I love that idea. I do too. Uh, yeah, and and it's and it's also so much better than than because I'm also a big fan of services like Spotify and Tidal and the other ones, but I pay like roughly ten bucks per month to one single service, and then I'm annoyed because if I want to go for that specific album of the Beastie Boys, I can't find that album of the Beastie Boys on Spotify, and I go like, man, I just paid ten bucks for this month for Spotify. And my my content that I want to listen to now isn't there. Damn. Mm -hmm. In this way, I can just browse, you know, the open internet and go to another website and spend 20 cents for the album of of, uh, the Beastie Boys. And maybe you see a really cool picture that I want to use in a PowerPoint presentation tomorrow. And, and and just five cents travels to that, to that owner of that picture. Mm -hmm. So I love that system. And it's, it's, you need uh, like a lot of people who have that, who are willing to spend that five bucks a month, of course, because otherwise those micro payments will never end up, uh, uh, just never end up as a, as a salary to to artists in general. Mm-hmm. And of course, you need like enough platforms to join, where they actually say like you need maybe not YouTube, but there there is one that's called Cinnamon TV, and Cinnamon TV actually mm-hmm. similar to Free Music Archive is also testing this system. There is one doing it for animated GIFs. There is one doing it for uh, journalism. There is one, you know, they have hundreds of websites already participating. What I love about it is in, I think if you're going to make a service like this, and I think this is important, is that I find stuff all the time where it's like, oh, you could monetize yourself by doing this. Well, this is my test. I explain it to somebody else going, hey, this site goes, you can use this. All you have to do is click here, sign up, go to that, do this, put in this information, do that, and then come back. And then now every time you come here, if you like something, you can click on that again and do it. No effort should be asked of anybody that is a fan of yours is basically what I'm saying. And I always feel like so much of it relies on the person that comes to your site. When I go to Medium right now and it goes, you have two articles left, I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to pay for another one. You know, it's, it, it's just, that means I have to sign up. I have to do something. I have to add my card. I have to do, and I'm just like, I just won't go. I'll go, I'll, I'll do another search and look for it somewhere else. And, and yeah. that's, and I'm as guilty of it. And I, but I think it's not right of me to go, Hey, I'm posting my web comics online and I need you to go through this process so I can get money and continue to keep doing it. Some people are happy to do it, but I feel bad making them go through hoops just because I want them to pay me to do my own stuff. And and that's yeah. what I love about the coil thing. I think and the way you described it is awesome. I love that it's like it's like streaming on Spotify but like wherever it it's just happening in the background and you're getting paid yeah. for your looks and your no, listens. That, 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 you know that's that's uh what I really like uh, uh about the system. And once again, it's because I don't want to sound like th- that this is the, the, the new big hype. I don't want to overpromise. It's early days, but it's a model that, that has momentum. It does. There's an organization behind it that, that can push money into directions to say like, oh, if this doesn't work, let's test this one or let's address um, or let's try to apply this to, to journalism or let's try to apply this to uh, photographers or, you know, they, they, they can really go into many directions to to make this work for a lot of people. 